Hey there, welcome back. In today's video, we'll check out 16 games running on the N200. Can it hold its own, or will it get pushed around? Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribble. In today's round of tests, we'll be using the B-Link EQ13 N200. It uses one stick of DDR4 memory, and is ideal to be used as a silent server on your network. It's currently on Amazon for $250, and if you want to see more information about this computer, please check out our video review. We've also added affiliate links down below if you want to help out the channel. As we wanted to get the best performance from the system, we increased the TDP to 25 watts in the BIOS. We also updated Windows to the latest version, and that also includes the drivers too. We used a stock memory, which was one stick of DDR4, and this is from B-Link's own branding, AZW, running at 3200 MITs. And here are the rest of the system diagnostics. So let's get into the game tests. First up is one of our favourites, Grid Sport, and in 720p medium settings, this plays very well indeed. With the same settings, we also ran the in-game benchmark, which gave us an average of 66 frames per second. Rocket League. If you don't mind playing in 720p and sacrificing a few graphic settings, it's definitely possible to have a nice game of football. Fortnite on the performance renderer at 720p low. This game is surprisingly heavy for any computer that uses onboard graphics, and as the system memory and video memory are shared, it's likely that the single channel memory will be bottlenecking the performance. Boy still managed to pwn some noobs. Tomb Raider. In 720p normal, we're around 40 to 50 FPS. While it's not hitting the Magic 60, it's still certainly a very playable experience. Just got word from the West Beach. Looks like a smaller group escaped into the lower forest. Maybe we get a hunting party down there. You hear that? Maybe over here. And is the benchmark if you want to compare numbers. It's Fallout 4 in 720p low, and we're about 20 to 30 FPS. Oh, 
Here's GTA 5, 720p, using DirectX 10. Next up is Sleeping Dogs a 720p medium, and it performs very similar to Tomb Raider that we had in earlier. And it's the benchmark scores if you're interested. Next up, Bolt Gun. And even though this looks like it's 20 years old, it's a very recent title. Much like Beverly after drinking a Pepsi. But to speed things up, we have to lower graphic settings to medium and turn off ambient occlusion. While Valorant is a well-optimized game, we do see dips, which again will be likely due to the single-channel memory. Planted. Last player standing. Counter Strike 2, 720p low, provides only around 30 to 40 FPS. While it can be a nice quick backup for a casual match, it definitely doesn't have enough juice for competitive play. Dota 2. We're using the Vulcan renderer to hopefully boost FPS, but this game still hangs near the 60 FPS mark at 720p low. Dyer's courier has been killed. And that slows down to the mid 40s when we see more action. Civilization 6, Gathering Storm.
Ten Hooks Pro Skater 1 and 2. And here's Wheel of Katamari Reroll. At 720p high, this is a very playable 40fps, which can be raised by lowering graphic options. Dave the Diver, 1080p. As this is a fairly slow game, a full 60 FPS isn't really needed, so as is, it's very playable. And if we lower resolution to 720p, full speed. But if you dive a bit deeper, there are a few dips. Sonic Media at 1080p runs great. Yeah. Oh. 